And then you've got Chris Harris. I mean, what does he do? Honestly, I just don't get what uh, Gregor Towns' love affair is with him. Chris Harris. <laughs> Chris Harris, born 28th of December 1990 in Carlisle, England, United Kingdom. He came through the ranks in his hometown club at Carlisle before being signed up by Tyndale RFC of the National League One in England in 2009. After five years playing with Tyndale, he won his first professional contract with the Newcastle Falcons in 2014 at the age of 23. He played for Newcastle Falcons for five years until their relegation from the Premiership in 2019. He was then signed up by Gloucester Rugby and has been there ever since. His international career started when he played for England Counties 15 in 2013. It was found out he had an Edinburgh-born grandmother, which made him eligible to play for Scotland. So Gregor Townsend offered him his first international call-up in 2017. He was called up for the November internationals of that year. He won his first cap for Scotland against Samoa in November 2017. And after some early struggles in his international career, he eventually came on to establish himself as Scotland's first choice outside centre. It's a rather remarkable rise. Oh, by the way, please ignore that prick at the start of the video. He had no idea what he was talking about. But no, I mean, back at, back at the time in 2019, I had a lot of scepticism about Chris Harris. I wasn't sure about him as a rugby player. I didn't think he offered us very much at the time. But post-2019, he has really come on leaps and bounds as a rugby player um, in all aspects of his game, particularly defensively. I think Steve Tandy, being Scotland and now the Lions defence coach, has really helped him improve as a rugby player. And he's been coming to playing the best rugby of, of his career at the age of 30. So he's a bit of a late bloomer, which is good to, good to see. So, um, it, can, it can sometimes work better that way than coming through and being a superstar at a really, really young age. And sometimes you peter out um, just as you're going into your 30s, but Chris Harris has been kind of uh, the opposite way. As I said earlier, winning his first professional contract at the age of 23. His ability to defend, in my opinion, has been up there with the best of them in recent times. In my opinion, he's the best defensive 13 in the British Isles right now. His performances against England and France and the Six Nations in particular prove that. I mean, how he defended against France was absolutely fantastic. The balance he was getting with his ability to know when to shoot up out the line, know when to drift, uh, know when to commit, know when to step off a little bit. And his hit on Vakatawa, boom, fantastic to see that. All rugby fans love those big hits, within the law of course. So congratulations to Chris Harris, go well on this Lions tour, do hope you make it into the test team, you'll be doing Scotland very proud if you do, and wish you the very best with the seven other Scottish players going with the Lions on this tour. Thank you very much for watching guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you later on.